What is going on, racing fans? This is your host, Chuck Chatner, and welcome to CTR. What we're about to do right now is we're going to go over a, a bit of the worst gameplays that we could possibly uh, locate on the internet, and we are about to mercilessly verbally pound uh, the players into the ground here. Uh, no offense, it's all in good fun. We're about to start this race as Dr. Engine. Uh, we're off to a good start. We do have a bit of a, a, a boost here, although Coco Bandicoot was, uh, you know, kind of a, an a-hole and uh, took our, our power-up box there, but, you know, no big deal. We're just gonna attempt that uh, shortcut and then not even make it. That's, um... Well, so let's just say that's very unfortunate. Um, uh, we're gonna try to see if we can uh, get some speed here. We got a, uh, we just got a power up. Uh, we'll just use that boost right here and get a hunt of of uh, Neo Cortex. Um, and now we just have Coco Bandicoot in front, and uh, she just got herself a speed boost. Wonder where that came from. She might have drifted or something, but you know, I don't know about that or anything because you know, hmm. I was just uh, making a little joke. I don't know how. Okay, so ne Doctor Neo Cortex kind of stood there and just took an Aku Aku to the, or an Uka Uka, excuse me, to the face, and, uh, didn't even, uh, get knocked over for, like, the pe the first second. Uh, very, very clutch save with that, uh, shield right there as we took a, uh, rocket directly to the back. Now, here we are, we are on the second uh, lap of three, and, uh, we were just, basically just trying to fight with Coco Bandicoot for first place here. Uh, not looking so easy so far. Uh, because, you know, Coco Bandicoot's kind of a beast when it comes to acceleration. Uh, we're just gonna smack into a couple of walls here and, uh, just, just, just attempt so hard to get to first place. Uh, all we need to do is get ahead of this blondie and, uh, we should be alright. We're gonna try to see if we get any more power-ups. Coco Bandicoot is now at a disadvantage. She has now missed, uh, two, uh, power-up boxes. And, uh, we can't seem to get anything, uh, that we can use to, uh, to, to shoot her with that, uh, doesn't, uh, that's not, that's not very fortunate for us, really. Uh, but here we go. Let's see if we can, we can get an Uka Uka and just save this race by speeding right ahead of Coco Bandicoot. Not even that bad of a start, honestly. Uh, we're gonna go on to the next race here, which is hopefully somewhere, uh, somewhere scenic. I, uh, I really need to take a vacation. Uh, it's been a while. All right, here we are in Dingo Canyon. Now, Dingo Canyon is a, a pretty interesting track. You've got, uh, I mean, what even are those? Uh, I mean, like, like, what are those things that, that are rolling around there? You got snakes. Uh, we didn't used to have snakes on this map back when it was first released in 1999. The snakes were completely nowhere to be seen, but uh, we didn't even get the boost as uh, Dr. Cortex here. We're going to see uh, armadillos. That's what they're called. Arma fucking dillos. I almost forgot. That's just incredible. Uh, I, I, com I am so glad I just, I remembered what those were called. And you could have totally just put those racers at a huge disadvantage by hitting them with your Uka Uka, but I guess you decided that Mercy was the best option and decided uh, not to be a dick, which uh, I don't really understand. Honestly, uh, you know, the you got to use the street rules here if you want to win. Uh, that's just my slogan. All right. We got everybody ahead of us taking the fruit and... Wow, that was just a shameful display. Uh, didn't even have the speed to get over that bump. Uh, maybe we should try uh, jumping occasionally. Uh, we do have shoulder buttons, do we not? Uh, let me check the manual, I believe we do. Oh, yes, we have shoulder buttons. They're just choosing not to use them. That is just shameful. And, you know, we took out Tiny Tiger there, though. Uh, uh, only temporarily, though, because uh, if you can't kill people, uh, I, I wouldn't know anything about killing anyone. Uh, I, I, it's not like I was on parole or anything. We're fine. Um, yeah, you know what, uh, let's just try to dodge, get around this, uh, this TNT here. Uh, let's see what we get in this crate. We got ourselves a bubble, which is absolutely flipping useless, because look at the place we're in. Uh, we could try to shoot it ahead of us as a projectile, but unless you jump over that, uh, ramp there, you're not gonna get any... Uh, uh, any height or any distance to cross that gap fully, uh, you're just gonna fall flat on your face, and uh, that is what we've just witnessed right now. Um, it just, we're just trying to slowly crawl out of 8th place here. We just got an Uka Uka mask in, and frankly, I believe that uh, it should be used as soon as humanly possible. 
So we got someone who's throwing uh, TNT at us, uh, and uh, I think, yeah, we're just going to knock him out. We're going to go out of our way to to physically assault that gentleman, and uh, you know what? I think we've already we've already lost uh, this round. Uh, Coco Bandicoot has finished first place, and uh, Crash, her brother, uh, directly behind her as well. Uh, and basically everyone has pretty much finished this race before we can. Except for, oh, except for Dr. Engine, who just... Or was it Tiny Tiger? I think it was Tiny Tiger who just got completely obliterated uh, by that missile. And, um, well, let's just say it's, uh, it's turning out not to be the race you'd want to show to your parents. Let's go and head on over to, uh, to, uh, Polar Pass here. Uh, you can see it's a beautifully designed map. We've got tons of shit here that we never used to have in the original version, and, uh, all this stuff you can see happening in the background as we're racing through, it is quite a sight to behold. We're gonna go, uh, this race in, uh, 3, 2, 1, and, uh, we're gonna, first of all, we're gonna try not to get hit by the seal, because, as you can see, Dr. Cortex made the mistake of looking that seal directly in the eyes, and the seal did not appreciate that one bit. Uh, we're gonna grab this box and hope we get something useful out of it, because apparently, uh, when you're playing and you're this new to the game, the only thing you can use to win the game is power-ups. And even those aren't very gracious most of the time. We're not even gonna make any attempt to even dodge, uh, that, uh, seal there. Uh, we're just gonna run straight into it and then get a TNT on our head. Uh, we're just getting smoked at this point right now. Uh, and we're, and we're just gonna get rid of all of our ammunition. Why? Just because we f***ing can, that's why. This is turning out to be an exciting race. It's gonna be mo even more exciting because uh, I'm gonna be biting my nails, uh, and, you know, during the, the, the end of this race to see who gets in front. And if we lose, I think, I think it might even get more exciting because I'm probably just gonna sit and bash my head into the wall for a good straight hour. Uh, these bumps are great, great, actually, areas to gain speed. Uh, you just have to know where the jump button is and actually, you know, use the damn thing. You know what I mean? Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and, and, and try not to get hit by the seal because honestly, I think PETA would not appreciate that at all. Uh, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna try to grab a box here because we're still in eighth. And, uh, Dr. Engine, the, the sneaky little bastard, decided it was g gonna be a great idea to steal our crate right from underneath us. And, um, we, you know what? We could really use an, uh, an Uka Uka, or an Aku Aku, I believe. Yes, that's, that's exactly what it is. And we're about to, uh, we're about to get in front of some people here. Although we're so far behind that um, this is probably what's about to lose is the match. Honestly, honestly, you just give me the controller right now. I'll finish the race for you in first place. Please and thank you. I've been waiting to play this game for a, the longest time. All right, we're going to try to load up on fruit here. We just got to 10, which means our Aku Aku mask is going to last even longer. And our shame is going to last uh, even more longer because that was awful. Uh, that was an awful attempt at, uh, making that, uh, shortcut. Um, uh, I'm not even sure if he was even sure that was a shortcut. So, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and, uh, and pretend that never happened. Uh, Uka Uka is back, and, uh, we almost just totally biffed that by running into that wall there. Uh, we're gonna see if we can, uh, you know, you know, the more fruit you collect, uh, the faster you go, and it's only by a couple percent, but, you know, it, it, sometimes when you use it right, uh, it can really get you an advantage in these races. Uh, it's, it's just a shame that it won't be used by our racer today. Um, and, uh, unfortunately we are again pissing off the seal and PETA all in one foul swoop. We are again going to get an Aku Aku mask and use it to hopefully gain some ground on these other racers, but it does not look like it's going to help at all because, uh, you know, I have a theory, uh, I think the theory is that, uh, everything here is just garbage. And I think, uh... I think the performance here is just is just completely shameful. Uh, uh, now I'm not trying to slam the uh, the racer here too hard. Uh, this all is all in good fun, but honestly, man, uh, I, I understand I understand being new, but but really though, uh, we're in second place here, and uh, we're not unfortunately going to be able to get in front of Crash Bandicoot, uh, who is uh, uh, unfortunately going to finish first place. But we will get second, which is um, well, it's just not as good. So, lightning, look, fast, we're just gonna, okay, we're gonna go on the split screen here, um, and I have, uh, I unfortunately have no communication with Tom, uh, Tom is completely not available right now, so I, he can't even help me commentate on this. What, what a stupid loser. Your family must be, um, uh, your family must be pretty ashamed. 
Uh, I think what it was, Thomas, is that I just, I was so frustrated that I just took, I just took my anger out and uh, displaced all of my emotion onto you. That is totally my bad. And uh, I apologize. I'm, I'm deeply, sincerely sorry. But you know what we're going to do? Uh, we've got an even better chance for for uh, talking about this race now, because now we got two players, and Dr. Engine on, uh, didn't, I guess he was asleep or something, didn't even realize they were racing, and uh, just kind of had his head up in the clouds, uh, while uh, Polar is somehow behind him. Um, he did get hit by an armadillo, but um, before he was even behind Engine before that, and I have no clue how that happened, considering Engine started like a half second before anybody else. So... You know, we're just going to let it slide, uh, just like they should be doing, um, sliding in their carts, preferably to the side, also using the boost mechanic that you can, by the way, activate three times to gain a super boost. And if you build up your reserves, you gain more speed from downhill slopes and, uh, you know, getting more boosts and things, and you can reach even above top speed. And, uh, it's just, it's just incredible, the amount of reserves you can collect and preserve. And uh, it's it's really quite something to see, Tom. When you get up to speed uh, in this in this race, you are pretty much unstoppable. Did I just talk to Tom for a second? I that yeah, that's my mistake. It's so, you know, it's it's just I, I'm a dual commentator. All right, I, I usually have a partner. Today, Tom is just unavailable. I think uh, it was because I slept with his wife, uh, possibly. But you know, it, it, you know, all things considered, I think you know he's a pretty cool guy. You know, I think he uh, he'd be all right with that. So I really don't know why he's not talking to me. Um, anyway, and, and, and this, well, let's just say things could have gone a lot better for us just then. Uh, both of the, both of the racers here are getting absolutely slammed, but, uh, Dr. Engine somehow was managing to stay in second place, while, uh, the polar bear is, uh, well, he's, he's, he's in the worst possible place you can be. He's, uh, he's right up the ass end of the devil here, uh, just, just barely coming out of the sphincter. Uh, trying to shoot out Tiny Tiger right there and uh, just to give him a bit of an edge. Now he's in sixth place. Uh, quite quite the advancement we've made here in just so short of an of amount of time. But unfortunately, those missiles are heat-seeking and there's no proper way to escape them unless you have skill, which I think we've established here is non-existent. And uh, this is the final lap and we are going to finish... Dr. Engine is going to finish in third... And uh, Polar will most likely keep his uh, his position in seventh, even with this Aku. Oh, maybe not. Okay, he went to sixth. That's surprising, you know. Now we're here on Polar Pass. Uh, if anybody's gotten sick of this map yet, uh, feel free to just turn off your computer and chuck it out the window, because we're apparently not going to be leaving it anytime soon. But what we are going to be doing, apparently, is switching back over to single screen and playing single player as Dingo Dial. And uh, Dingo Dial, uh, for any of you who don't know, he's uh, one of the more difficult heroes to play. Uh, he's fully speed-based, and his turning and acceleration are pretty minuscule. Uh, now, he has horrible control, so we're just going to have to see how well this player does at uh, attempting uh, to win this race as, as uh, Dingo Dial. Uh, depending on just speed alone, they might actually be able to get the, uh, the upper hand here. Um, and then also run into literally everything under the goddamn sun. That was, um... Well, let's just say that was unlucky. Uh, it didn't really have to do entirely with skill, but I do believe that if they, uh... <sighs> I do believe, um... That... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still speechless from what just happened. Uh, I, I can't even remember what I was talking about, honestly. Uh, we've got a shield, which we're never gonna... We're, we're never gonna use this thing. And, uh, and when we do, it's just gonna be completely useless. This is, there's, there's no point, really. And, uh, we're not gonna ever be able to make that, uh, that shortcut, I don't believe. Uh, but what we are gonna do is, uh, gonna be able to pop this Uka Uka mask, uh, hopefully soon, thank goodness. Uh, because, uh, buddy, you are in last place. And you need to, uh, you need to just make some progress right now, buddy. Uh, and we're gonna make it quite a ballsy left turn mid-air and land in a very precarious position, but, uh, again, try to avoid the seal, and, uh, it's, you know, if, if this is what the whole race is gonna look like, I might as well just retire. I might as well just, like, take out a loan, retire, and then never pay the loan back, and then just go, like, fake my death or something, because this is an absolutely shameful performance. 
Uh, we've got another we've got another shield here, uh, and if, uh, for those of you who don't know, the uh, the blue shield again. I, I I might have said this already, but it does not it does not deteriorate over time. It stays uh, until it is used. Uh, so it, unless he figures out that he can actually use the bubble for you know shooting, then uh, then God help us all, because uh, I I don't think he will. This poor this poor creature created in the name of science, Dingadile is unfortunately not the uh, not the brightest uh, crayon in the box. Um, he, he ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, to be honest. And, uh, and you know, we're going to get another Uka Uka mask. And you know what they say, uh, fellas, about uh, CTR, is that uh, the more masks you accumulate, the worse you are at the game. It's just a uh, one way to show the lack of skill. Um, now, now, Cortex, uh, uh, fortunately for us, just, just nailed that seal right there and and just spun right the hell out now again we another uka uka mask they are just handing us this race and uh we're gonna see we're not even gonna take out the competition honestly we could have totally taken tiny tiger out of the race for uh at least a little bit there and we just chose not to i believe so uh you know so each their own we're gonna okay we're gonna make that jump that time instead of failing it like a goober and uh we should have we should have thrown that behind us Although uh, it was a it was a understandable mistake, and we are again in eighth place. All of that effort, all that time, and on the last round, on the last uh, uh, lap, this is gonna be uh, this is absolutely awful. This is gonna be a, a, a ginormous travesty. We should be using this mask right the hell now. We should do. Yeah, thank you very much, racer, for hearing me through the great beyond and actually uh, just doing what the hell you were supposed to do. And again, we're going to lose this race to Polar, uh, and it is his map, so I would not put it past him to uh, be the one to, to go in first place. Uh, and and we've just further even sealed our our defeat by falling off this. And uh, I, I I don't I couldn't possibly tell you how with so many Uka Uka masks you could possibly fail uh, a race. But you know what, guys? I think that's going to do it for us. Um, this game is on uh, PS4, Xbox, and I believe the Switch. If you guys want to go ahead and purchase this game for yourself and uh, try to beat some of the noobs on this game, you are very welcome to try. Thank you all so much for listening, and I will see you all in the next installment. But until then, toodles.